Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to niebs home school i am ashish bishash an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english fashion school morning shift today i am going to take a math class for the student of class 8 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 24 of half yearly and today's age chapter number will be 16 dear student today's topic's name is exercise 4.3 from exercise 4.3 we shall solve 30 32 35 and 38 as your cw and question number 29 31 34 and 37 will be your sw so my dear student all of you please open your math book page number 69 okay from page number 69 we shall solve exercise 4.3 the question is resolve into factors okay i have already written the questions on the board so my dear student follow the board please here resolve into factors that means some expression are given we need to resolve them into factors okay so 13 number question at first we solve 13 number question so at first we pick up this 30 so here the question is a square plus b square whole square minus 18 a square plus b square and minus 88 so dear student please listen to me here a square plus b square and here also a square plus b square is present so at first we write let a square plus b square equal to x so we write now a square plus b square equal to x so in the place of a square plus b square we write x this a square then this 18 and a square plus b square means x because we have already let a square plus b square equal to x and 88 now x square minus 18x minus 88 so dear student listen x square so at first we multiply these two number minus 88 x square now we break this middle term in such a way that their subtraction will be 18 x and their multiplication will be minus 88 x square why subtraction cos this uh, constant term carries negative sign okay so now 88 we divide 88 by 2 and we get 44 again we divide 44 by 2 then we get 22 my dear student need notice this is 22 and if we multiply this two number then we get 4 so if i subtract 4 from 22 then we get 18 but here you notice this is negative sign so largest number carries the negative sign minus 22x and plus 4x okay then we write right here minus 88 now we take x as common and left x minus 22 again 4 common and left x minus 22 that means take x common and next we divide x square by x we get x we divide 22 x by x then we get 22 now from 4x and 88 we take 4 as common that means we divide 4x by 4 and we get x we divide for 88 by 4 then we get 22 now from the whole expression listen x minus 22 is common and left here x and here plus 4 now we put the value of x okay what is the value of x value of x is a square plus b square now write a square plus b square minus 22 and a square plus b square plus 4 dear student i hope you have understood this is the factors of this expressions okay and it is the answer okay so a number solution is done next we shall solve question number 32 so in order to solve 32 at first we erase question number 30 so first of all we pick up this question here here the question is x square plus 3a plus 4b x plus 
टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव ए बी प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर डेयर स्टूडेंट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री ए प्लस फोर बी एक्स लिसन टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव ए बी प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स मिडिल टर्म ब्रेक मैथड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू नंबर दैट मीन्स वी गेट टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई देन वी गेट सिक्स ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर नाउ वी ब्रेक दिस फाइव ए बी इंटू टू टर्म दैट फोर टर्म्स थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टू If we multiply three with two, then we get six. If we uh, add three with two, then we get five. So from this we can write two a square plus three a b plus two a b plus three b square. Okay. Okay. Next, this part remains same. X. Now from this two term, a is common and left twice a plus three b. Next, from this two term, b is common and left twice a plus three b. Okay. Now again we write x square plus three a plus four b x plus from this expression twice a plus three b is common and left is a plus b. Now my dear student, we consider this twice a plus three b equal to m and this a plus b equal to n. Let Choice a plus 3b equal to m and a plus b equal to n. Now we do addition. Okay, so 3b plus b that means 4b. This plus sign. Choice a plus a that means 3a equal to m plus n. Now x square. Dear student, listen. X square and 3a plus 4b means m plus n. So we write this. m plus n x plus this twice a plus 3b equal to m and a plus b equal to n now we do multiplication of m plus n with x that means mx plus nx that means if we multiply with x then we get mx if we multiply n with x then we get nx and plus sign plus sign after that plus mn from these two term that means x square plus mx x is common and left x plus m and from this two term n is common and left x plus m now x plus m and x plus n that means from this whole expression x plus m is common and left x plus n now we put the value of m and n here m is choice a plus 3b and n is a plus b so now put x plus Twice a plus 3b, and here x plus a plus b. This is the answer. Okay, dear students, I hope you have understood. Next, we shall solve question number 35. This is middle term, and 38 is also middle term. Okay, and so easy. Thirty-five number question. Here, thirty-five number question is three x square plus eleven x minus four. So, what can we do first? First of all, we multiply this first term with the last term. That means three x square multiplied with minus four, and we get minus twelve x square. My dear student, notice this constant term carries negative sign. As negative, so we can say. Uh, we break this 11x by multiplication. Uh, sorry, by subtraction. Okay, so we break 11x in such a way that their subtraction will be 11x and their multiplication will be minus 12x square. So how can notice? How can we get 11x if we uh, subtract 1 from 12? Then we get 11. So 3x square plus 12x minus x minus 4. Okay, from these two term we take three x as common and left. That means we divide three x square and twelve x by three x. And if we divide three x square by three x, then we get x. And this plus sign is here. After that we divide this twelve x by three x, 
and we get 4. Dear student, if we take 3x common, then left x plus 4. Now, notice minus x and minus from. From these two terms, minus 1 is common. Okay, we take minus 1 as common and left x plus 4. I hope you have understood. Dear student, from this whole expression, you notice x plus 4 is common. Okay, we take x plus 4 as common and left 3x and here minus 1. So, x plus 4 and 3x minus 1 is the factors if we resolve this expression. Okay, as our solution is done, we must write answer here. So, x plus 4 and 3x minus 1 is the answer. Okay, next we shall solve question number uh, 38. 38 number question is 2x square minus 5xy plus 2y square okay so first of all we multiply this two term okay that means 2x square multiplied with 2y square it is 4x square y square dear student please notice this term carries plus sign okay this plus sign means we do addition dear student do you know how can we how many ways in we do addition two way plus plus addition and also minus minus addition right so how can we break this minus 5xy in two terms we break 5 a minus 5xy in two terms in such a way that their addition will be minus 5xy and their multiplication will be plus 4x square y square dear student if we multiply 4 with 1 then we get 4 or uh, if we add minus 4 and minus 1 then we get minus 5 so we can easily write here 2x square minus 4xy minus xy plus 2y square now we take 2x common from the first two expression and we get if we divide twice x by twice x square by twice x then we get x and if we divide 4xy by twice x then we get twice y i hope you have understood dear student from next two term we notice y is common that means minus y is common so we take minus y common and left here x and here minus twice y from the whole expression you notice x minus o twice y and x minus twice y is, is common and we take that common x minus twice y and left here twice x and here y so x minus twice y and 2x minus y is the factors of this expression that means if we resolve 2x square minus 5xy plus 2y square into factors then we get x minus twice y into twice x minus y okay this is the answer okay my dear student this is our today's lecture okay i hope you have understood my today's lecture now i shall give you some problem as your sw from this same chapter that means from exercise 4.3 you shall solve 29 31 34 and 37 as your uh, sw you must do your assign sw in sw copy submit it regularly in our school campus uh, in every saturday within 9 a.m to 3 p.m so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum